Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine third person shooter series. So in this episode, as you just saw, I have I am going to implement the bullet shells that going out from the gun. And also you can hear the bullet shells hitting the ground sound as well. Alright, so that's what I'm going to cover today. Alright, so first I'll import a texture for the bullet shell. Let's create a new folder here. I'll call this bullet shell. So this is the texture I'm going to use as the bullet shell and I'll create a new particle system. I'm going to use a cascade particle system because this is just a simple sprite emitter. Nothing complicated. P bullet shell. Okay. I'll create a new material here. I'll call it M particle. Sorry, M bullet shell. Right. I'll use this material. This um, alpha, oh, this should be a masked material. I'll connect the alpha to opacity mask, and yeah, I think I'll leave these options as default. Well, I should give it some metallic look, so I'll make it metallic 0.1, sorry, 1, and specular also 1, roughness, let's say 0.1. Okay, I think that would be enough and apply. Now here, as for this, uh, when I select this required module in the emitter, I can select the material. So I'll drag and drop this material here. and it's compiling right so you can't see the particle here because it's we don't have a light here so when I make it unlit you can see the light see the bullet and also I'll make this spawn only once like this and it doesn't have to be looping so yeah i'll make this one zero and under burst list i'll add an element and set the count to one right now this should be correct okay now i'll Make this lifetime a bit larger, let's say six seconds. Oh, and yeah, to make sure only one sprite is spawned, go to the 
spawn module and not spawn module in the required module there should be a option to loop right so this zero emitter loops that means uh, loops continuously so I'll make it one okay it's like this right now let's uh, set this type data to GPU sprites and then so about this warning this particle system has no fixed bound in box uh, we have bounds here let's set it to fixed bounds okay the error is gone right now I'll add a constant constant acceleration so that would be the gravity because the shell should keep falling so the acceleration should be 980 minus like this and also it should have collision see in depth canals cannot be used on metameters with opaque material oh but I think I used uh, masked so what if I use a translucent one yeah then it should work let's see right there is go okay so for now I'll right I'll disable this uh, bound because I can't see the particle and also I'll disable this acceleration because I want to set the size of this bullet correctly so let's see and the size and initial size it should be a constant not zero let's try one one okay I think uh, point two and point one Point zero five. Oh, I already have an initial size module here. Yeah, that's the issue. Constant should be let's try first first one and point five. and point five. let's try 20 and 1 no I forgot to connect the alpha to opacity after changing this to translucent so that's why it looks like a box now it should look okay wait till it is compiled right now it looks like this so I guess 4 4 would be all right no, 4 2 how it looks when I like this all right let's go with this size and also I need it to have a initial velocity to start uh, it should push the bullet shell in 
to the right direction so i'll make this one 10 this one 0 this one this should have the same value Let's add some randomization here. Okay, so speed is clearly not enough. I think for the speed, uh, well, we need to see it with the acceleration enabled. So it's like this. Okay, so what if I increase the Z value? And here 10. Oh, I have rotated the axis. all right so i think in for the initial velocity this values will work right now let's try and apply this to the gun so here well i'll drag and drop this particle system as a child component of this gun and uh, I'll attach it to the well it should come from this part the bullets should come out from this part so this door is for that purpose and let's add the socket for that I'll call that bullets out. This is too fast. Camera is all right. I'll set it in a place like this. okay now here i'll attach this bullet shell particle to the parent socket bullets out and where is the what's the direction the bullet is emitting let's see Okay, it goes that way. Maybe we should Okay, it goes like that. So actually this blue one is is a axis. So right. So maybe I should change my velocity. I'll make this one minus five minus no plus five plus five minus five minus five and this one 200 and 400 right oh, yeah, right okay that speed is good enough now here i'll disable this auto activate now and when i shoot that means here this is where i play sound and muscle flash I'll get 
the bullet shell particle and call activate right let's see what happens okay right you can see the bullets are bullet shells are going off from the gun And you can't see them on the ground because they are too Right. Um, now what? I have imported this uh, bullet shell falling sound. So I will play that. Well, not always because if I play it always, it would be, well, it would be annoying. So, therefore, I'll play it only when I stop firing. So, that means I'll add a delay here. About, let's say, one second. And then sound at location. I'll just give the get at uh, location. No, it should be someplace below. So therefore, I'll add minus eighty to this plain sound location and then use this and yeah i forgot to add the uh, attenuation what are the attenuation settings we have loud gunshot now that won't work because this should be a very this should hear from a very limited range so I'll create an attenuation setting. Where is that? It should be no, let's search here. No. Alright, ah, we can do it like this. Here, sound attenuation, select audio, let's call it um, small range. It should hurt from, let's say, only from 600 radius. All right, now that should be all. I think it's too loud. It doesn't have to be that prominent. So let's reduce the volume to 0.3. And right, that's better.
okay and i'll stop this episode at this point and if you want to access the source code of this project you can get the membership of my patreon club also if you like to support my work uh, you can join my patreon club and the link would be in the description below and this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Bye and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.